Well, hello and welcome back. Are you getting tired of playing Commander against your friends that have $1,000 decks? Are you tired of going and play Draft and spending your money to get in and not even be able to uh, pull a good rare? What's a good alternative for a nice, cheap, fun game? Dollar Store Magic Cards. Let's, take, let's crack some of these open and take a look at what we get. All right, welcome to Repack City. Um, when you go to the Dollarama, they've been actually giving out, well, not giving out, but being able to buy 15 trading cards. Includes one rare uh, from Pristine Industries. It's a dollar fifty Canadian. So what we did was I bought 12 packs. And before things have changed in the world, for fun, once in a while we'd sit down and we would get these and then we'd do like a limited draft or a draft just to change it up because sometimes you just got to play with some janky cards to enjoy the game so let's open these up let's see if we get anything good out of these um because the one thing about these you get them from uh collection all throughout Magic. So you never know what you're really going to get in here. Oh, there's our rare. Uh, yeah, lots of crap. That's good. This is pretty janky stuff. Right on. So our rare out of the first pack was Emperor's Vanguard. Whenever Emperor's Vanguard deals combat damage to a player, it explores. Alright. So we'll put these right there. So let's see what's in the second pack. Mm, nothing too exciting yet. But we've opened these in the past and we it's not like you get like a huge pull from it, but um, there's been interesting cards in here for sure. Uh, here's our rare Timit, Vizier of Nectundum. The beginning of your combat of your turn. Token, creature token you control gets plus one and plus one until the end of turn. It can't be blocked. Wow, eh? How lucky are we? Well, that's a nice legendary. Our first, uh, that could be our, uh, commander. <laughs> Other than that, that was all pretty crappy. So these have been around. You, they usually have a couple of different options. I think these guys are the same ones that do the magic cubes down in the States at Walmart. I think this is the same company that does it. A lot of newer cards in here. Oh, here's our rare Angel of Condemption. Kaladesh, some con stuff, even some newer stuff like even Thrones. So nothing too exciting quite yet. Um, let's see, what, what do we got here? Artifacts, beasts, sorcery, artifact. So has anyone out there ever bought dollar store cards and took a look to see what they were like? Ah, destroy all non-artifact permanents. Only for a cheap price of 10. Uh, I guess if you play it like in a Jota or a Jota or a Morophon, I guess maybe. Is that who I'm thinking of? Um, Spear, Night Sorrows, all right. So we did get a board wipe for but that's super expensive 10 that's probably why it's known as garbage and jank uh, let's see what else we get here no oh, here's our rare 
Bounty of the Luxa. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all flood counters from... If no flood counters were removed this way, put a flood counter on it and draw a card. Otherwise, add three to your mana pool. Yeah. Oh. Divination. Classic. But when we've done this in the past and we've been able to draft it, uh, because it's so janky, it can be a lot of fun. So, if you and your team, that you, if you have a regular play group, I would suggest trying this. Oh, Bishop of Rebirth, Vampire, Cleric. Uh, whenever it attacks, return target creature card, convert a mana cost three or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. Eh, that's fine. That's probably worth a penny. Uh, here we go. Land of War Elves. Classic. You can't, can't open a booster pack without getting some elves. Let's see what else we get here. All right. Uh, there we go. Mighty Leap, Thirst. Oh. Uh, Gideon's Resolve. Enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Gideon. Marshall Paragon. Reveal it and put it in your hand. This must be from the uh, Planeswalker deck. I would assume. Oh, here we go. We have a couple of Spanish cards. Why would those be in there? All right. All right. Soren's Thirst. Come on. Give me a good Eldrazi at least. No, oh, we got another bishop. Monk. Scarecrows. Yeah. <laughs> These things are so goofy. It's definitely, I'm not going to lie to you, it's pretty much a waste of money, but... It can be a lot of fun when you're just sitting down and just wanting to do something chaotic, janky one evening. Uh, here we go. Conspiracy. Oh, Degree of Justice. Create X44 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying with cycling. Uh, if you cycle it, you may pay X. If you do create X11 one, one white soldier creature tokens. Huh. That might not be... Too, too bad. That's probably worth 10 cents. Uh, but the one thing that I have noticed, we don't have very much for basic lands or anything. This is all like cards that are playable. So that's good, because Luigi and a lot of these things, they always try and slide in a few uh, basic lands to help bulk up the the card selection, so not too bad. But we do have a Evolving Wild, one of the strongest cards, as Bad Boy Gaming would say. I can't believe it! Oh, hey, we have uh, Traxxas. Enters the battlefield tapped and doesn't untap during your untap phase step. Whenever you cast a historic spell, untap Traxxas. Uh, what is that? Nemesis? Uh, what's this one? Nightmare. Yeah, with the new set that's coming out, which is pretty exciting. Uh, some of those mythics are what you think mythics should be, that's for sure. All right. Slug. Basic land card. There you go. There's your ramp. Oh, 8-6 vehicle. Now we're laughing. Oh, we have uh, Tesher Ancestral's Apostle. 
Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Eh, that's not so bad. I think I've seen that for 7 cents somewhere. And then... What's this? Choose a t target artifact. Hmm. All right. This is our last pack. This is gonna be our big payout right here. This is retirement money. All right, bird. Artifact snake. Is this our rare? Yes, a Johnny's Aid. Enters the battlefield, you may search your library in her graveyard for a card, a Johnny Valiant Protector, reveal it, put it in your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. So yeah, that's definitely from the Planeswalker decks, it's gotta be. Um, some Nemesis. Oh, we're down to the last one. We got a rat, cleric, and lucky clover. All right. This is what you basically get out of uh, a set of dollar store magic cards. Repacks. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope this killed some curiosities that you might think would be in those things. Till, uh, till the next video, take care. So what happens when you're a sucker for punishment? You pick up more, and we're going to open up another 12, and we're going to see what kind of janky cards we can pull out of this deck. All right. Thanks for checking this out. Let's, let's start cracking these open. Dollar Store Booster Packs. What's the best way to get janky cards for not much money? That's the way. This group, the Pristine, I believe these guys are the same ones that do the repacks for Walmart stores. Uh, we don't have them up in Canada, but uh, in the States, I keep seeing people open them up like at Walmarts and they get these Magic the Gathering cubes. I think it's the same group that does those. And uh, generally, the videos that I've seen... Oh, hey, we got a Daring Saboteur. Um... And I've seen them open them up, and they usually get pretty janky cards out of the group. But the thing about these, as you know, they're going to be garbage. You'll never find your Black Lotus in one of these repacks. Not like the, not like the ones that uh, you find on eBay that show the Black Lotus that you can get in one of these packs. Well, you'll never get something like that in here. But these, these are just fun for everyone just to... Try something new, something a little different. Uh, and they're all janky, all pretty crappy. Oh, here's our uh, rare untapped target creature. Gets plus two, plus two, and fight. Target creature you control fights target creature and opponent controls. Um, have we, have I bought these in the past? Yep. And generally with them in the past, we would get six packs each. There'd be, there's a group of four of us that generally play together. And either we do like a limited kind of draft or we do, or a draft draft. And because none of these cards are spectacular, then everyone's on the same level. And when you do come across that one really good card in all these things, that uncommon common that nobody ever wants can actually be pretty, pretty devastating, especially when you have shitty cards. And oh, here's our aligned Hedron Network. Excel all creatures with power five or greater until it leaves the field. And uh, so it really brings all the games back down to zero because sometimes when you play the escalation of people's decks can get pretty fast, pretty pretty crazy. Um, when you go from a pre-con and everyone spends $20 for upgrades. And then all of a sudden, okay, next upgrade, everyone can keep spending and getting more. 
So the escalation can get pretty crazy on on decks. So sometimes you just gotta dial it back and just play some janky cards. And the reason why I like these is because you do get one rare for $1.50. I know this is probably like a 10 cent card, but at least, at least you don't feel like you're getting totally shafted. And we've got a Peace Walker Colossus, another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Eh, that's all right. Uh, and sometimes you come across some really cool old framed cards. But the one thing I've noticed so far is these ones are all pretty newish. So nothing too crazy yet. Nothing. And when I say crazy, we're talking interesting, interesting to look at. And, um, protection from beasts. Hey, beasts are, beasts are the new thing in Commander right now. Oh, here it is. Ether Tide Whale enters the battlefield to get energy. Pay energy, return whale to your hand. Um, rumor is, in upcoming sets, but they're going to go back to energy. Anyway, let's see what else oh, crap is in there. Carry Thrall. Hey, that's a good basic divination. Act of Treason. Nothing too crazy yet. We have been able to pull some pretty good board wipes out of here before. Like ones that I've not recorded opening. But, um... Bake into a pie. There you go. Destroy, though. It's not exile. Uh, uh, drones. What else we got here? Exile. Renegade map. Is this our rare? No. Oh, it is. Uh, grind to dust. What's this? Rusting golem. And I love... I love these shitty old cards you, you pull it up and you see all this but it is it's nothing but flavor text it's uh three colorless one white for a two four elk and nothing else what a boring card that's that'll get recycled but i'll go back into the void titanic brawl You know, a lot of people didn't even know that. Oh, here we go. Tesher Ancestral Ancestral's Apostle. I think we've seen that in the past. Then make obsolete. And this is our first basic land. That's one of the first basic lands that I've gotten in a long time. Out of these stupid packs. So maybe that's not a good sign. Maybe we're going to start seeing a few in this new batch that I just picked up here. Uh, garbage, garbage, garbage. Goblin Knight, double strike. There we go. That's how we're going to win, a, win the game. Uh, lucky Unicorn, Pegasus Construct. Is this our rare? A Johnny's Aid. Bam, bam. Not even a good one. Uh, Flowstone armor. Fox. And what's this? Frogify. Just can't go wrong with a frogify. Because that's an annoying card when you play in regular games. Uh, death touch until on a turn. Crocodile. Uh, everyone needs a cat monkey in their collection. Hour of Eternity. Exile X target creature cards from your graveyard for each card. Exile this way. Create a token. That's a copy of that card, except for it's a 4-4 four, four black zombie. Um, yep. Yeah. Fading. Hey. How could you go wrong with fading? 
And a little pixie. But it's okay, you get a little bit of ramp. But green and blue are some of the most common important cards. And we haven't come across any many of those good ones in here. Come on. We only got a couple packs left. Give us a good one. Something that we can be like, oh my oh here we go. Follow Thrawn. Destroy all lands. Each player returns two land cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. Yep, that's uh, not a good <laughs> commander card. That killing lands and commander people freak out pretty good. So we'll try and put that into a deck and see what happens. All right, but at least it's more fair. It destroys all lands, not just your opponents. All right, here we go. Second last deck. Come on, whammy. Big whammy. Spider, three, five. Four and a green. Woo! This must be our rare. Uh, dream color siren. Flash, flying. Can only block creatures with flying. Entry to the battlefield. If you control another pirate, tap up to two target non-land permanents. Eh. Probably for limited it would be good. But not a huge upside. All right. This is our last deck, uh, last booster. What do you think we're gonna get? Another shitty of Johnny's pride. All right. A Johnny's Chosen, that's our rare right out of the get-go. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2-2 white cat creature token onto the battlefield. And if that enchantment is an aura, you may attach it to the token. Huh, that's all right. Here's our... So, got a mountain. And then our last few cards here is... Oh yeah, bunch of junk. Bartered Cow, because you always need one of those. Rubble Recluse and Storm Strike. All right. Hope this helped with your guys' curiosity as much as my own. This is the kind of thing that you get out of a dollar store booster pack. I hope you enjoyed. And if you see these in your own store, now you get a kind of a good idea of what kind of stuff you'll be getting out of your packs. Thanks very much.